Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make my Immunity Boost Juice. I love having this in the winter months just to kind of strengthen up my immunity and make sure that I'm fighting off cold and flu, which is so common at this time of year. This recipe has lots of ingredients to help boost your immune system, including some oranges and lemon, some turmeric and ginger. So I'm gonna get into how to make this Immunity Boost Juice using my three-in-one food processor. I've got the juice setting on this. So let's get started on how to to make this Amini Boost juice. So the main ingredients for making this juice is some oranges and lemons. I've already cut these in a bowl, but essentially what you're gonna do if you haven't already is you wanna get rid of the tough skin. Some juicers will let you juice with the skins on, but mine isn't too, too advanced. So I like to kind of peel it like this and get all the skin off so that it's easier on my juicer. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel the carrots, the ginger, and the turmeric. Now I've already done that. I've got my carrots peeled here and I've already chopped my ginger and turmeric, but I'm gonna show you how I do that with the ginger and turmeric because it's a bit finicky. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna break off a piece. We want about a three inch piece of ginger for this recipe. And then you're just gonna take a knife and you're gonna cut off the skins. And it doesn't need to be perfect because remember this is going in our juicer. But again, just like the orange and lemon, I just wanna get rid of some of this tough skin. I'm also just going to chop my carrots into chunks so it's easier for my juicer. So now for the fun part, we're gonna add everything to the juicer. So I'm gonna start with my lemon and my orange, and I'm gonna take a bowl, and I'm gonna put it in front of where the juice flows out. So I'll start by filling with a few pieces of my orange, and then we'll turn this on and juice it. So as I mentioned before, this is a three-in-one food processor and juicer. It's not exclusively a juicer. I really like this product because you're, it's multi-purpose. You're getting more bang for your buck. And I find that it juices really well. So I'm gonna include the link below in case you're interested in grabbing it. You can buy it on Amazon. So let's throw in the carrots. Okay, and finally we're gonna add the ginger and turmeric. This is sort of like the healing properties of this recipe, and it's also gonna add some really nice color and flavor. So you can see when I added the ginger and turmeric, not a lot of juice came out, but it's really potent and powerful, so a little bit goes a long way. So in case you're wondering what to do with the leftovers, I always throw this in the compost. We've juiced all the good nutrients out of it, so everything that you need is in this juice. So you can throw this right in the compost and it can go right back into the earth. Okay, so finally the last ingredient that we're gonna use for this recipe is a little bit of sweetener. I'm using Manuka honey for this and that's because it's so good for when you're sick for building your immune system. If you're a hardline vegan, then you can skip the honey altogether or you can add agave. When I'm sick, I like a little bit of Manuka honey and I'll include the link if you're looking for a good brand to use. You can also get this on Amazon. So in order to add the honey, it's quite thick. So what I like to do is dilute it in a little bit of warm water. You really just need a splash. And we're gonna add a teaspoon to the warm water. And we're gonna kind of mix this to combine. And that's gonna help it really get into the juice without being too clumpy. And 
Another reason why I wanna add warm water instead of boiling water is because this honey is raw and I don't wanna kill all those good enzymes. So just diluting it a little bit in warm water to make it less solid is what we're looking for. Okay, now we're gonna add this to the juice. And finally, we're gonna stir this to combine and look at this gorgeous color. Does it not look like it's going to boost your immune system? Okay guys, so now we are ready to serve this juice. I've got some glasses here and I'm just gonna pour it right into my cups. I mean, look at this beautiful color. This is such a good immunity boost juice. It's got all the healing properties to help you fight cold and flu over the winter months and to keep you healthy. It, the whole recipe is about three servings worth. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so nice and sweet. This is totally drinkable. You really wouldn't know that it's so healthy and so good at fighting your immune system because it literally tastes so good. I really hope that you guys enjoy this recipe and that you can introduce it to your diet over the winter months.